What's going on everybody? So in this video we're going to take a look at installing a different launcher on the Galaxy Note 7. In this case I'm going to be using Nova Launcher. There are tons of launchers out there on the Google Play Store. Each one can make your phone look totally different. Uh, I go with Nova Launcher because I like the shortcuts that it lets you set up as well as the support for different icon packs and stuff. So one of the things to keep in mind um, is that it's not going to it's not going to keep any of the icons that you apply. Uh, for example, I'm using the material theme here and so these icons will change. Let me show you the clock, the context, the calendar. These will change back to the stock Samsung icons once you install a different launcher and use that. But the nice thing about Nova is you could set the icons to whatever you want and you don't have to just use an icon pack for all your icons. You can use an icon pack for one icon, a different icon pack for another one, so it's really flexible. Gives you a lot of features. Go ahead and jump into it real quick. And I've already installed it, but you can install it from the Play Store. And there is a free and a paid version. The paid one gives you more features, more functions. But if you just want to test it out, you're not sure if you're going to want to use it, definitely just get the free version. Um, so I have it installed here, um, but it's not my current default home launcher. To do that, I'm going to go into my settings, go to applications, and then up here, the three dot menu, and select that, and then go to default applications, and then home screen. So the default out of the box is touch with home, and that's what's gonna let you use the Samsung theme store, wallpapers, all that jazz. And basically to use it is just apply. Press the home key to apply the new default. So now you see our, our folders have changed, the app drawer is different, and if I go back home, I have the ability now to do some gestures on my home screen. So if I swipe up, it hides my notification bar, gives you a super clean look. If I swipe down, it actually pulls down the notification bar for me. You can actually add more gestures to the home screen as well as to folders and whatnot. So to do that, you go to gestures and inputs. And this is for the home screen itself. You see all these uh, different swipes you can do and stuff. But you can also do gestures on the folders and the icons in the folders as well. So for example here, if I swipe up, it opens up my camera. And to do that you just long press on the folder, go to edit, and then swipe action, you assign it to an app or a shortcut, and that's how you do that. And then within the folder itself, again long press, edit, and then you can change the icon, you can change the label, uh, and then you can change, add another swipe action within the folder itself. So lots of customization. You could change the home screen transitions. You could change how this looks. You can add tabs at the top to sort your apps out. So you could do that up there. And you could change icons too here. So long press on that. Go to edit and then tap on here. You can download themes from the app store. You can look in your gallery if you've downloaded icon packs independently of the app store. Or you could do some built-in ones that come with Nova Launcher. Go ahead and tap on that. And here at the top we have the default marshmallow icons. Or if you want to just replace the icon with another icon, you could do that down here. That'll make things nice and confusing if you want. Um, but I'll just go ahead and select that one, hit done. And there we go. Now it's the material design icon. And then these folders, uh, this is the nougat style folder, but you can change that as well. So a folder background is the nougat style. For folder preview, you can choose grid, stack, fan, whatever. So I do stack, go home. So you see now all the folders are that configuration instead. So a lot more customization than TouchWiz allows for. This definitely helps you make your phone a lot more personal. I I I prefer Nova Launcher because of the gestures that you can use. It makes customizing the phone a little more granular, which is something I like to do. So more videos to come on the Note 7, as well as other devices. Make sure you subscribe to stay tuned and see what's coming down the pipeline. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for me, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and Instagram. Until next time, take care.